me respond, since the senator did mention my name, I think. <laughs> and I think you got an all-time record here. You've made more misstatements in a shorter period of time than I have ever heard. Please correct Apparently, me. Apparently, if I'm worth $8 million, public. Dollars, excuse me. It's all public. Excuse me. Yeah, go ahead. All right. Excuse me. Yes, sir. If I'm worth $8 million, that's good news to me. <laughs> I'm not aware of it. That's a lie. All right. Number two. Part of public records. That's, you're probably looking at some phony right-wing internet stuff. It ain't true. <laughs> no. All right. You should read I, beyond that. It is not true. It's part right? of public records. It, yeah. No, it is not public record. Okay. Well, you made 1.7 million on your public book. Public record. You made 1.7 right? on your excuse book. Excuse me. I've got the mic now. Number Did you two. Not make the statement I have that if you want to be a mic now. I've got it. You Did you not your make time. that statement? You had your time. Okay. All right. You're not telling the truth. Second of all, you got no evidence that I have ever said that all CEOs are corrupt. I have never, ever said that. Probably not Further, all, but, but every time you talk about CEOs, you, you shouldn't say, that. say it. Furthermore, what this hearing is about is whether or not you talk about being pro-union, really. What this hearing is about is whether workers have the constitutional right to form a union. The evidence is overwhelming, not from me but for the National Labor Relations Board is the time after time after time, despite what Mr. Schultz is saying. Starbucks has broken the law and has prevented workers from joining unions to collectively bargain for decent wages and benefits. Senator Baldwin. 